Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Friday, March 18th, 2022. I am Fredicia Liburd. Fet and celebrate Nevis Culturama 48 is the winning slogan for the 48th anniversary of Nevis's Culturama Festival, which will be celebrated from July 21st to August 2nd, 2022. The winning slogan was penned by Hard Times resident Verna Tibu and was selected from a record number of 461 entries that were submitted into the Culturama 48 slogan contest, which ran over a period of four weeks. Tibu will receive a cash prize of $500, two sets of complimentary tickets to all Culturama 48 activities, and a plaque. The Culturama Secretariat takes this opportunity to congratulate Verna Tibu for her winning slogan and to thank all those persons who participated in the 2022 Nevis Culturama Slogan Competition. With support from the Sustainable Development Unit and the One Love Rastafari Movement, the staff and students at the INS France Preschool have commenced an initiative which promises a healthier, self-sustainable future. On Thursday, March 17th, there was the official launch of a recycling and organic garden project on the school's grounds. Chairing the ceremony on behalf of the Sustainable Development Unit, Delroy Pinney, spoke on the impact that this particular project would have on the children's everyday lives. But what is special about this garden is that these are the preschoolers and they each have a tire and they all going to have the opportunity to plant it, nurture it, reap it, take it to the kitchen and then have it for lunch. No textbook can teach that level of experience. He also highlighted the type of crops the children would be planting. We have eggplant, both varieties. We have sweet pepper, we have tomatoes, we have cucumber, we have parsley, we have kale. And then there would be some seeds that would be planted, melon and sweet corn. We have lemongrass, we have what we call Melissa balm, we have uh, the paracetamol, we have the blue for vein, or what we call worry rind, very good for the memory, a nice cup of that in the morning. Uh, we have the jumbo tiki time, and we have um, bananas and papaya. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Social Development, Keith Glasgow, took the time to educate the children on the contribution that their soon-to-be garden would have towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. I've always had the belief that agriculture is the most important profession. And I still do believe that because look at it. Uh, this is how we basically eat. Our medicines, our food, our medicines. And you could look at other areas of interconnectivity. I know the force of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, goal number one is no poverty. No poverty. And this is an opportunity for no poverty. It is also an opportunity for you to learn quality education. It is also an opportunity to promote gender equality because I don't think that there are any biases in terms of whether we're going to have boys or girls learning some agricultural techniques. He also expressed hope that the project would help boost our youth's involvement in agriculture as it played an integral role in his own childhood. I recall as a small boy growing up, I had to work the land and I had to look after animals. I recall in those days, basically everything that we cooked, if we were cooking a pot of soup, we grew everything on that farm. And so I believe that we would have lost some of that. And I think we need to get back right there. We need to be more self-sufficient. We need to think about, you know, more sustainability. Also present at the launch were coordinator Joyce Movin and Shemuel Paris of the Sustainable Development Unit, as well as sponsors Rodney Fleming, One Love Rastafari Movement and Latoya Jones. 
The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ECCB, has won the Reconnaissance International Regional New Banknote Series Award for its family of EC polymer notes. The prestigious award recognizes newly introduced banknotes and ID documents that exemplify superior technical sophistication and excellence in design and security. In his virtual acceptance speech, acting director in the ECCB's currency management department, Norman Sabarosh, thanked Reconnaissance International for the award, noting that it is a fitting accolade for the ECCB's innovation of changing the substrate of its notes from paper to polymer. The ECCB is the first central bank in the Caribbean to introduce a full series of polymer bank notes. In 2019, the ECCB commenced collaboration with its banknote development partner, Delarue, to roll out the new family of polymer notes on the tagline, Cleaner, Safer, Stronger, and nod to the strength, security, and environmentally conscious designs of the bank notes. The final denomination in the series, the EC $5 bill, was issued in 2021. Still to come, NIA continues to pursue geothermal development. The details right after this break. Have you signed up for the Nevis Water Department's new ePay platform? It's an easy, safe and secure process. Here's how to sign up. Have your water bill handy and log on to epay.neviswaterdepartment.com using your mobile phone, tablet or desktop and the rest of the process is easy to follow. It can also be accessed by going to our website at www.neviswaterdepartment.com and clicking on pay your bill. Once you have completed the process and your account is activated, the app allows you to make payments directly to Nevis Water Department, get access to your account balance, have access to your payment history and interact with our customer service department through the help desk feature. Yes, it's that simple. So don't wait, sign up all of your accounts today. And remember, we at the Navy's Water Department are here to bring you, our valued customers, exceptional, exceptional service. service. Welcome back. That the commitment of my government to renewable energy has not waned one bit. Premier the Honorable Mark Brantley gave that assurance on Tuesday, March 15th, when he delivered remarks as Minister of Public Utilities and Energy. In fact, we continue with very intense discussions with a developer whom we hope can develop and deliver on the promise of geothermal energy. Premier Brantley says the Nevis Electricity Company Limited, Nevlex's recent commissioning of a new generator, however, is a response to the increasing demand for electricity. But whilst green energy, geothermal energy in particular, solar and wind energy as options, continues to be an aspiration of this government, we couldn't allow aspiration to trump the practical demands of our people. And whilst we work, as you've heard from Mr. Gordon, towards renewable energy in the future, we had immediate needs to ensure that our people had electricity and a reliable supply of electricity in the immediate term. To put that differently, we had needs now, today, and we could not wait for when renewable energy might come in the future and tell our people who are in darkness because they have no power. That wait, man, next year or the year after, renewable energy will come. So as a government, I believe we took a practical and pragmatic approach to ensuring that we continue to have a reliable supply of electricity on the island. On March 15th, Premier Brantley performed the symbolic ribbon cutting to officially commission the third Watsila generating set at Nevlex Power Station in Prospect. A 30-member delegation headed by Minister of Education, Youth, Sports and Culture, the Honorable General Powell, left St. Kitts and Nevis on Monday, March 14th to participate in Expo 2020 being held in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The delegation includes the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture, Valencia Sider, 
the 15 winners of the Youth Empowerment Department's essay competition, four students and Principal Miguel Thomas of the Virchiles High School, chaperones and other officials. While in Dubai, the delegation will engage in activities that will immerse them in the rich history and culture of the UAE. They will also be exposed to experiences that showcase dishes, entertainment, technology, arts and culture, and much more from the 192 countries at the Country Pavilion section of the Expo. The delegation returns to St. Kitts and Nevis on Tuesday, March 22, 2022. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Freddie Stilibert. Thank you for viewing.